micro-earthquake swarm strikes New Madrid fault line. One day after Army Corporation of Engineers detonate multiple bombs along the New Madrid fault line the United States Geological Service has recorded and documented seismic activity. This video will help explain how the NWO is going to possibly trigger an earthquake on the New Madrid fault line. Everyone has been all abuzz on why the Fed's national level exercise is simulating about this exact scenario, and how prophetic it has all seemed to be, and here is a smoking gun. They not only use these explosives in the place without the approval of the local residents and now could become a recipe for disaster. Preliminary Earthquake Report Cooperative New Madrid Seismic Network. This report supersedes any earlier reports of this event. This event has been reviewed by a seismologist. A micro-earthquake occurred at 10208 MCDT on Wednesday, May 4, 2011. The magnitude 1.5 event occurred 6 kilometers 4 miles NW of Tiptonville, Tennessee. The high bay central depth is 8 kilometers 5 miles. Preliminary Earthquake Report Cooperative New Madrid Seismic Network. This report supersedes any earlier reports of this event. This event has been reviewed by a seismologist. A micro-earthquake occurred at 1.37.04 MCDT on Wednesday, May 4, 2011. Now, uh, Marco will be able to talk to you about what happens when the radiation comes out and where it's going. Marco, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Actually, I'm working on a dissertation. I'm just an older grad student at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. And what my research is in is nuclear fallout and tracking it over long distances. One of the things that's very interesting about the Fukushima radiation releases is that we often hear about oh, general radiation levels. Things people measure by sticking a Geiger counter out of car windows, for instance. What I'm looking at are microscopic or even nanoscale particles that contain highly radioactive materials that are small enough that they can just blow in the wind and sometimes travel great distances. In our research, we've been able to track some of these particles hundreds of miles, even thousands of miles. And what happens is, unlike the radiation we're seeing in Japan, where someone can just move, drive away from a high radiation zone, these particles travel globally, and if they're inhaled, if someone brings them in, you actually carry that with you in your body. It has a very different impact, and it's the kind of radiation where background doesn't mean as much. It's more a matter of how do we avoid eating or breathing in those radioactive particles. That's really... Um interesting material for us to hear and that, that answers a lot of the questions that, that we've been getting. What, how is this different than say dental x-rays? Well the thing about a dental x-ray is it's a set amount of radiation. We can predict better what is going to happen to someone who has that kind of dose, that amount of radioactivity. With a particle it's very different. A single particle can carry a pretty significant amount of radiation. And wherever it lands in your body, it can start to damage that tissue or kill cells. Cells that actually survive that kind of irradiation could potentially form a tumor. So we worry about how these particles travel, whether they're traveling to the air and we breathe them in, or whether they get absorbed into our food and water. We should behave differently if we want to avoid that kind of... On the red carpet at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, comedian Joan Rivers said President Obama has not lived up to her expectations. Do you think President Obama personally has lived up to your expectations? Uh, no. I think President Obama should stop campaigning and take care of the country. I think it's disgusting that everyone two years out is campaigning already. Take care of the country. You, you, what, what specific issues do are, are, you think he hasn't taken care of? It's not him. It's all of them. It's all of them. We're, we're, we're bankrupt. We're bankrupt in this country over three wars. That we, it's just ridiculous. And you know it and I don't. I don't want to get into it. I'm an actor. 
Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, May 4th, 2011. I'm Darko. This is part four of this news bulletin. We're just going to get right into it. Gaddafi, sorry, forces Shell, uh, key Libyan town, forces Lil to Muammar Gaddafi have killed at least five people and wounded several others in fresh shelling of the port city of Misrata. Okay, and then we have France, no plans to kill Gaddafi. Right, dude. <laughs> Who are they aiming for when they, when they kill this family? Al-Qaeda or Al-Qaeda offers aid to rebels in Libya. So Al-Qaeda is working with the rebels in Libya. Uh, NATO allies likely to fund Libyan rebels, i.e. Al-Qaeda. And look at this, Libyan rebels to receive $1.8 billion trust fund. So uh, and so basically, uh, Al-Qaeda is going to get uh, $1.8 billion, all right, from you, from taxpayers. Says Bahrain doctor to be tried for treating injured protesters. That's right. And then Syria protests spread amid widespread detentions. Israel angry at Palestinian deal. Israel has voiced anger at the reconciliation accord signed between main Palestinian factions of Hamas and Fatah aimed at forming a Palestinian unity government. Then Iran says Israeli jets preparing to strike. Said the uh, jets are conducting drills at a military base in Iraq in preparation for a strike on Iran, the Islamic Republic's press TV reported. That's right, uh, Ahmadinejad right now is in a boycott. He's been fucking uh, basically missing in action. Pardon my French. Uh, for the past, what, 10, 12 days, Israeli ordinance injures three Gaza children, then U.S.-led attack kills Afghan woman, then U.S. on track to withdraw from Afghanistan, White House says, right, as they're building humongous bases like in Iraq, Ivory Coast clashes leave 40 dead, and, um, this doesn't make any sense because Bagbo is gone, right? And everybody hated Bagbo. Nobody supported him because that's what the elections, uh, reflected, that people didn't want Bagbo, yet, People are fighting for him, and the guy's not even there. So it just goes to show you uh, what's really going on. Crackdown on census rebels. Look at this. A team of 100 noncompliance officers able to conduct them interviews under uh, caution with householders who refuse to fill out the 2011 census will go out on the streets today. So... And why do you think they're a little skeptical? Well, look at this. Lockheed Martin, defense contractor, military industrial complex, and the English census. This is what is the American defense contractor doing running the English census? That's right, guys. Lockheed Martin is running the census in England. And look at this. Petition to oppose khaki role. Khaki is another defense contractor that was in Iraq. Uh, and talking about they're going to be in the Irish census in 2011 as well. So unpaid tickets from traffic cameras could cost drivers their rides. So if it says uh, if you've got one of the 15,000 traffic tickets, uh, the city says remain unpaid. You may want to keep your eye on your car. And they'll begin seizing and putting boots on your vehicles. So then we have the spies in blue. A secret memo includes that uh, San Francisco cops may be working as FBI spies with no local oversight. So cops assigned to the FBI's terrorism task force can ignore local police orders and California privacy laws to spy on people without any evidence of a crime. So, And that's uh, that's basically the standard for today. Says here, drunk driver bites police to avoid breath alcohol tests. That is in uh, China, and then China bans uh, smoking in public places, and it goes into force. A ban on smoking in public places has come into force in China, home to a third of the world's smokers. And uh, New York, they've done that, and other states are now following. It's pretty much going to be globally. Every country, every state is going to be banned. No smoking in public places. Uh, China creates new Internet overseer. China announced a potentially powerful new agency to supervise the Internet. Look at this. Underscoring the evolving regulatory environment in the country, just as interest in the Chinese web companies is soaring among global investors. PlayStation Network out, out, uh, outage sorry, cast doubt on cloud computing. And then uh, also PlayStation Network is back online as of today, May 4th. Amazon's cloud service breakdown raises questions. So again, cloud computing services storing all kinds of uh, memory uh, on external hard drives is not working out so far. And the problem is that maybe eventually the PCs won't come with hard drives that you'll have to you'll be forced to put your uh, all of your information, all of your data um, on some uh, uh, external server.
right, with no absolutely no privacy. Google's South Korean offices raided over data collection. The new GPS bracelet tracks children with autism who wander off. They have that for dogs, and they have that for old people, and eventually they'll have it for, quote, conspiracy theorists, right? Taxi plan to record conversations to boost security alarms civil libert uh, libertarians. Check that out. Is your cell phone violating your rights? So you uh, pretty much assume that they are. If you've seen that South Park episode, it's pretty good. Uh, police in three states test adopt taser wearable camera. So the company and the manufacturer of electric stun gun police use to incapacitate uh, suspects in, is supplying police departments sorry, in at least three states with a wearable video camera for testing or purchase, the firm says. Uh, basically, they're going to see if the slaves are going to take it or not, right? So it says here, backpack to the future, the device that lets you see through walls and is small enough to fit in a rucksack. That's going to be made solely for what? The police and military. Senate sneaks RFID, driver's license, internet ID into transportation bill in Tallahassee. Florida, Saudi, uh, Saudi King suggested chips could be implanted in Guantanamo Bay inmates. So good idea there. It says flu phone application helps track spread of infectious diseases. A mobile phone application could help monitor the way infectious diseases such as flu are spread. Well, the first thing you have to do is just look at things like uh, laboratories like uh, uh, Baxter. And that's usually what uh, where these uh, flus and these pandemics are um, emanating from. Herding swarms of microbots, tiny robots self-assemble with a single computer. Man. So imagine a swarm of microbots, tiny devices, a few hair widths across, swimming through your blood vessels. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to continue. Why? Because they already are. Nanoparticles are already flowing through your bloodstream. That's what's being sprayed on you, uh, among other things such as the metals of barium and aluminum. Um, there's nanoparticles in there, more, and you get more Jones fibers, and they're actually in your blood right now, pumping through you against your consent, against your will. You have no say in it. That's your piss you off. Blackwater's new ethics chief, John Ashcroft. So nice. National level exercise 2011, getting ready for the new Madrid uh, uh, earthquake that the government's going to pay for uh, with your tax dollars and cause it, right? So they can clamp down at a perfect time where people are going to be getting pissed off about their dollar getting crashed and their privacy being taken away uh, or non-existent. White House readies U.S. shakeout to prepare citizens for earthquakes. Most British against vote systems switch. And check that out. Scotland to seek independence from U.K. North Korean political prison camps growing, uh, says Amnesty Group. And no big deal, right? U.S. has their own political uh, uh, camps that they round you up in. It says here in Japan, 76% are unhappy with the government. Radiation reaching up to 1,000 times normal level near Fukushima plant. Then Fukushima parents dish the dirt in protest over radiation levels. Furious parents dump school playground earth that may have radiation levels well above the old safety level. That's right. They just changed the level to where before it was safe um, or before it was dangerous. Now it's safe. Because I can't do a damn thing about it. Fukushima parents angry about kids and radioactive sandbox. This is a follow-up. Pacific radiation levels keep rising. And then Japan seabed contaminated with radioactivity. Japan radiation leaks from fuel rods suspected at uh, Suruga plant. And then we have a uh, dry spring could reduce crop harvest by a third, warns farmers. Heat wave sees warmest UK April for more than 100 years. Uh, UN food advisor says let them eat insects. So says uh, that uh, they want to ditch steaks and burgers and eat insects instead. This was actually, I think, an older quote, but it's uh, in a newer article. Then world population to pass 10 billion by 2100, and not if the powers that be have their way with their little eugenics depopulation program. All right, finishing up here, man who kicked wife sent baby over balcony gets 21 years. And a Dutch woman was convicted of killing her four newborns. Why? Uh, in order to have the appearance of being a perfect daughter. Then Texas man ex uh, gets executed with animal drug. They started that in Ohio first. Quest for vaccines to treat addiction. That's right. BPA increases infants' wheezing risk. Then USDA allows Monsanto to perform its own GMO studies. Trace amounts of formalin found in milk sold in South Korea and asthma rates climb for children and adults. Well, that's because of the spraying, guys. Thousands may have undiagnosed autism, but autism ep epidemic challenged by UQ UK research. Why? Because they'll find out that it's linked to vaccines. 
eight CT scans to diagnose lung cancer, equivalent radiation of 4,000 chest x-rays. But look at this. It says multiple CT scans increase cancer risk. Go figure. Grape tomatoes recalled in U.S. over salmonella scare and salmonella outbreak tied to laboratories. Hey, this is GGN, and I'm Darko. Thank you.